All right, so these are the newly announced Pavo tubes that we've been waiting for. This is the 30X and this is the 15X. And my God, have they got some amazing features. How's it going guys? My name is Andrew Murphy from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. So now that I have just announced these brand new Pavo tubes, the 15X, the 30X, and also a 60X tube as well. And they are freaking amazing. And Nanlite was kind enough to send these over to me for me to test out. I've had these for a couple months now. So this is the 15X, which will replace the 15C. And this is the 30X. And you notice that it has an X in the name and not a C. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. And now if you thought the original Pavo tubes, these ones back here were amazing, you are in for a friggin' treat with these. Now the biggest difference you'll notice between the new X series compared to the C series, apart from obviously the design, because the design is completely different, but I'll touch on that a little bit later, uh, is the X in the name, which stands for pixel, which means that it's a pixel light. So basically this means that depending on which light you get, there's a basically like groups of LEDs that you can individually control and do some freaking amazing things. Now the Pavitru 15X has eight pixels in it, the 30X has 16 pixels, and the 60X has 32 pixels, which is wild. So this means that you can control each individual pixel group to do like whatever color you want to be and basically create some amazing results. Like for example, I could take this 30X tube and because we've got 16 different individual pixels that we can control, I can set basically like, say, this quarter to be blue, the middle section to be black or to be off, and then this section to be red. And you can basically create the look of having multiple lights with a single light source. And honestly, this is gonna be an absolute freaking game changer for like product photographers or people that work in studios, like not having to have so many different lights. Like you can, th this light could potentially be four different lights if you really wanna set it up that way. Or you can use those two lights or you can use one light. Like the possibilities are really endless. And with the introduction of this new pixel based system, they've also introduced some new effects as well. So we've got like the standard 11 or 12 that we're used to, but they've added more in that just weren't possible without this new pixel system. So basically one of them is like a driving effect and say if you put it up next to a car and you were shooting a static of people inside the car, you can basically have lights simulating like they're going past. It's just, it's so cool. Now the color accuracy has also been ramped up as well with a CRI of 97 and a TLCI of 98, which is great. And they've also changed the CCT range from the standard 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 12,000 Kelvin now, which is huge. And something I've, I don't think I've ever seen on an LED light before. They've now also added in that green magenta tint adjustment as well, which they've have, they haven't like a lot of their higher end RGB lights, which again is super handy if you're like wanting to dial in that exact color, or if you're potentially trying to match other lights that aren't quite as color accurate or have slight little tints or variances in color. Plus they've also added in Bluetooth as well, which can now connect to the new app, which I'll touch on a little bit later and a DMX port as well for those who love like connecting to a DMX switchboard. Output as well has also been ramped up on the new X series tubes. So the 15X is now 35 watt, the 30X is 70 watt, and the uh, huge 60 watt, uh, the huge 60X one is 106 watt, which is freaking wild. But if we actually look at a chart, the 30X is nearly 200% brighter than the 30C at 2700 Kelvin, which is wild. And if we do a side-by-side -side comparison with say like the 15X, in the 15C because they're the only like old series and new series that I both have. Uh, you can definitely see a difference, but you'll mainly see the output difference when you're stepping up to sell like the 30X tubes or the 60X tubes, but I guess you don't have anything to compare that to. So now onto the design, the new X series tubes is an all aluminum housing, obviously apart from this polycarbonate uh, diffusion panel on the front. Uh, and it means that you don't have to worry now about potentially like snapping them in half. Honestly, that was one of the big concerns that I had with the old tubes because they were an all plastic design. Like they kind of had a bit of a flex to it and the, the, uh, the actual case wasn't super solid. And I know like packing it into my car, I was always had that little thing in my mind of being like, I really hope I don't put, put something heavy on it and it just basically like breaks them. Plus the added benefit of it being aluminum means that it also works as a heat sink as well. And something to actually keep in mind is that if you are operating these at full power for a decent amount of time, this back part does get hot. And they do warn you as well, they say that it does get hot. So be careful handling these if you are running them for a long period of time. 
You also notice that the ends are different as well, which actually makes the overall length of the new X series tubes smaller compared to the original C series Pava tubes. Basically, if you have a Pava tube 6C Mark II, then you'll be familiar with this design. Uh, basically, they've built in the quarter 20 screws now, so you've got uh, one on the end uh, and then two on basically the back and then this end doesn't have one on the end because we've got the DC and the DMX in uh, and then you can also get a bunch of accessories as well to attach this in weird and wacky way. All right now disclaimer with the charging of this do not charge it or do not try to charge it through the USB-C port. So if you are coming up from a 6C Mark II power tube, you know that you charge it through the USB-C port because there isn't a DC in but on these new tubes it's not a charging port. The DC in is a charging port. The USB-C port is for upgrading the firmware to say like have additions on the app or just make this even better. Now the only thing that the X series tubes don't have in comparison to say the Pavo tube 6C Mark II is magnets built in on the end. So obviously it would be good to have that but like because we've already stepped up to an aluminium housing, it already is a little bit heavier. Having to add magnets in there would make it even heavier. And because it does weigh a bit, and because like the 30X and the 60X are really, really big tubes, you don't want to potentially like just quickly magnetize this thing with weak magnets to save on weight and then potentially fall and hurt someone and all that kind of stuff. So if you do want to magnetize this to something, they do have accessories that you can attach to it and then magnetize. And they're like really, really strong magnets as well to make sure that these will not fall. Now as for the weight, this is the info that I have on the pre-production models, but I believe that Nanline has been able to actually strip some weight out of these to make them even lighter in the actual production model. And uh, I'll be honest, like it is a noticeable difference between the actual weight of the old and the new. But for me personally, I prefer to have a bit of a heavier design, a bit more solid, uh, just in case it does get dropped or does fall or get stepped on, then you have less chance of it breaking. Another thing that you notice if we compare these side by side is that the LEDs are now much more diffused on the new X series tubes, which just means that you'll get even softer light out of these things. And honestly, the reason that I love tube lights so much is because they are just so versatile. Like I've used these as key lights, as hair lights, as fill lights, as whatever kind of lights you can think of. I basically used it because you can. There's just so much versatility in a single light. And even though the source isn't super wide, it's super long, which again makes it a bigger source. And that's why it looks super soft and it wraps around like your subject really nice as a key light. Now by far the biggest thing that everyone has been waiting for is the new Nanlink app. And yes, it has been a long time in the making, but it is finally here. So it's very similar to a lot of other apps on the market today. However, with the addition of this new pixel mode, which basically gives you control over all the different pixels on your lights. Now currently as I'm recording this video I only have access to a beta version of the app so it is still quite buggy and we're doing a lot of testing and a lot of diagnosing to basically figure out what works and what doesn't and make it so it works in the final app that we're actually going to release with the release of these tubes. Now I've actually been using these lights on my sets for the past couple of months and honestly they've just come in so handy. Honestly just simple things like having a flat end on it and being able to basically like stand it up compared to the old tubes that you couldn't do this. Like just small stuff like that just makes such a big difference. And moving away from that twist knob design to basically a super clean, super easy to use interface makes it so much different as well. The only thing that you do lose going to this is just being able to quickly adjust, like say like if you wanna go from zero to 100% intensity, uh, it does take a little bit longer on this because you can't just crank it back up. But there's way less like, way less room for error. Like on the old 15C, 30C tubes, there were so many times where you'd like crank up the intensity and then try to adjust the color. And because the, the dial was already cranked, you just suddenly go to like the wrong color and you have to like try dial it back. So this system is so much better. Uh, but for the most part, I've basically just been using my Nanlink remote to control all of my lights, including these ones. Just makes it a bit easier. Like you don't have to pull your phone out. You can control basically nearly everything from this little thing. And uh, it makes it just super duper easy if you're basically a solo shooter or have a very small team. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this look at the new Pavo tube 15X and 30X tubes, then consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to find out more about these products, I'll leave some links down in the description below. Otherwise, stay creative and just be you. Have fun.